Okay, I show you quick how to do an upgrade or downgrade on a GoPro Hero camera. First we turn it off. This here is a Hero 7. And I found it the easiest to remove the battery. For sure you make sure that the camera is off then when you do that. And then it's a whole lot easier to read the serial number if you because you need it for the download. Down there is the serial number. And then here is the SD card you want to remove. And as I said, a manual update we do, right? Not through a, a phone or anything. So our SD card, we insert in an SD card reader. And the reader we insert into a Mac. So this is Mac specific. On the PC it's slightly different how to download the files and extract them. <coughs> we go to Google and search for the GoPro Hero update manual. And there I see the first hit even finds the page. So that's on the GoPro thing. There it is. And we need to enter our camera information. That is the, the serial number I enter here. And then also our email address in the field below. Let's put the serial number in first. And then uh, here my email address. And we don't need to sign up for anything. We want to agree to the terms of use. And then click next step. And that takes us to the download page. Here on the download page there is this blue button here where it says download update. That's what we click on. And in the lower left corner we see how it up, uh, downloads and when the file becomes ready. Once it's 100% downloaded we click on open in finder down here and then we see it already. Here is the zip file. On a Mac, we just double click on the zip file, double click on it, and it extracts the update folder. Important to never rename that folder. It has to be named like this update, right? And then we take the whole folder here and drag that over to the SD card of the camera. There we go. We wait for the copy to be done. There is our copy done, almost. And then we go here to our SD card and we verify that it arrived. Update folder with the content and then we can eject it from here. Take it out of the computer and take it out of the card reader and now we insert it into the camera. There's the camera. The label faces to the back of the camera. The label of the SD card plug this in here. This is relatively easy when the battery is not inserted. Now we do insert the battery and it's fully charged. Make sure of that. We turn the camera on and we will see immediately the update starting or downgrade. If you use an older firmware then you can also downgrade and it's advisable to just keep all of those, the old ones. So whenever you do an update you rename your update folder or your zip file there and um, keep this on a safe location on your computer so you can go and downgrade later. That was number one. There's update two. Check mark. Done. This camera is up to date as of now. Now once that turns off in a second, there it is. It reboots. We can see then in the back. Turn it back on. And we take a look at the camera data here. So it's up and running. Scroll down, go to preferences. And then on the bottom here is, uh, let me focus this a little. Okay, so let's go all the way up here about camera info. And there you see your version number 0 0.01.80. 1.8 is the firmware here. 